So this is going to be a rough video, uh, just a proof of concept uh, for what I have built here. Um, I was excited to get something out on this because I think it's really cool. So pardon the video quality. However, um, so I have solar panels, a battery bank, charge controller, and a generator all on my truck. And I use that when I go RVing. Um, I plug my RV into the battery box and I have power when I'm boondocking. Um, between the solar and the, the generator keeps me powered and ready to go. So how I haven't currently configured is that I have a Victron 712 Smart, which is the battery monitor, which isn't here on the table. And that monitors the depth of discharge of my batteries. So um, an important topic for managing your battery bank is that you don't want to overly discharge your batteries or you could easily ruin them and definitely decrease the lifespan. So how I have it currently wired is my Victron 712 uh, monitors the depth of discharge on my battery bank and if it draws more than well 50 percent or more of the capacity of my 400 amp hour bank it'll kill my ac inverter um, which basically kills all load from the battery bank so that protects the batteries from being overly discharged and kills all the load but i have a generator and my generator has a little wireless remote control off and on um, i can remotely start my and stop my generator for if my batteries are low or I expect to run my air conditioning. Now, you don't want to run your air conditioning off a small solar battery system by itself. It's about 1500 watts, at least for my unit, and it's going to quickly drain your batteries within an hour and put unnecessarily, un unnecessary load on your battery bank. So um, when I run my air conditioner, I want to run my generator, but I don't want to have to click my generator off and on manually and monitor my battery bank and it's just a royal pain and I'm always looking at my phone to see what my battery bank state of charge is so I built this thing this is a Raspberry Pi this is an Arduino these are relays Victron is kind enough to put out a they have a Venus um, management box that you can plug your charge controller and inverter and your um, battery monitor and all this stuff into and it gives you this cool little web portal to manage your whole system. Try to go back to the main menu here. So it has all sorts of cool little features. It can show you your load, your input, your battery status. Um, you can access your stuff remotely from the internet because it has their their system has built-in Wi-Fi, and so it is this Pi. You can get like a GSM cellular card and like track your remote system wherever in the world you know it does a lot of cool stuff i mean gps tracking and yada yada but what i care about is that their venus module is 500 dollars, and i just need to control the generator off of it so i couldn't justify the price of it but again they have a image for raspberry pi so i installed that image on here i hooked up this relay now the victron venus software if I remember how to get in the menu here, that's not it, the space bar. <laughs> oh no, it's enter. Okay, enter. There we go. Um, so settings. Settings will go down to generator start stop. Oh, looks like we don't have it enabled. Let's go ahead and enable the generator start stop real quick. Okay, so with this system, um, <clears throat> the Victron Venus, you can automatically start and stop your generator. You can set quiet hours when the generator should run at nighttime. You can set up all sorts of conditions like uh, current battery current is what I'm going to use to detect if my AC is running or if I have a heavy sustained load. Um, I'm going to... I can set up a test run to make sure my generator keeps this internal battery charge. I can go by battery state of charge, which is depth of discharge. I need to run my generator when my battery is down to 60% and stop my generator once we're running at 90%. Um, during quiet hours at night, I may not want to start my generator unless absolutely necessary 55%. And since there's no solar, I might want to charge my battery bank up to 95 
the configuration of this is really cool. So, what I have here is that with the Venus and the Pi, the functionality is the same. The generator start stop, start stop functionality triggers a three position relay. You got normally closed and normally open. And this is meant to hook into a, well, a rather expensive generator unit that has a start stop module on board that when he detects that the switch is triggered, it'll run the generator. And when it's not triggered, it'll stop the generator or some variation thereof. Well, I don't have a fancy multi-thousand dollar generator. I just have this little uh, Champion 3500 watt unit that I got for cheap that has a start stop wireless remote. So I put the output of a relay. You can just imagine this is a Venus unit for all I care into an Arduino. And this Adreno, long story short, when it detects that the Venus has triggered to run the generator, it'll hold the relay on. It will detect that and it will come over here and click my generator start and stop buttons. So let me do a little demonstration of that now. I'll go into relay and I'll just set this to be an alarm relay so I can control it manually. Okay, so right now uh, there's no alarm and the generator's not supposed to be running. For whatever reason, it's, it's pulling this high, but whatever. So I'm gonna trigger, let's say my battery drops down to a low charge that I configured for the generator to kick on, or I turned on my air conditioning and it's running for more than 20 seconds. Boom, that relay is clicked. The Adreno waits five seconds. It hits this relay, which will click the start button of my wireless remote. My generator will start up. It's running. So my AC turns off or my batteries are 90% charged or whatever I can figure for the generator to stop at. Clicks the relay, waits five seconds, hits the generator stop relay. Clicks the generator stop button, three seconds. Generator turns off. So um, that's the gist of it. Uh, there's one additional feature that I baked in. My battery bank and all my equipment is inside a toolbox in the back of my truck with a solar array above. You'll have to check out my other video to see my setup there. But this is a temperature sensor and this is all going in the, the truck box with all the equipment. And if it detects that the truck box toolbox temperature reaches 100 degrees or above, It'll click this relay, which will turn on my cooling fans. And then when the temperature drops below 100, it'll kick it off and my fans will stop running. So, so yeah, that's really cool. So one important note about this is that I don't have any sort of feedback as to if the generator's actually running. And that's fine because my Victron 712 battery management controller is wired directly into my Ames inverter. And when my battery depth of discharge drops below 50%, it kills the inverter. I have no DC loads on my battery bank, except for this, which is a very low draw. Um, so it kills all the loads from the battery bank, so it doesn't kill my battery. I'm gonna set this up to start charging the battery at no less than 55% depth of discharge, or whatever I can figure it, some higher value than my inverter cutoff. So when it triggers the generator, and the generator runs, um, then everything is hunky dory, the generator will stop. And then, but if it triggers the generator and the generator doesn't start because I don't know it's out of gas or it's broken or whatever the heck happens, well, what will happen is that your 712 unit will wait until the battery reaches 50% depth of discharge and just kill the and just absolutely kill the inverter as a fail safe. So, between this and the 712. Um, I have a method to fully manage my generator start stop based upon the load, just as if I'm running AC or if my batteries are dead. And I have a method to cut off all my loads of the batteries at a critical depth of discharge with the Victron unit. So all together, I basically have, uh, pardon the cringe here, but a Prius, Prius type hybrid generator system, which I think is really damn cool. So anyway, uh, hope you've enjoyed 
Um, I may or may not put up a how-to on this. It wasn't really difficult once I got started, uh, but it's just an example of what you can do. Cheers.